Okay. Shirima Empire once again. And uh, this time I'm standing with my fellow Muslim in this da I am a Muslim and not a terrorist. So listen. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. This is personal and it is all I have to say about this. It is very personal, it is so, because it's not supposed to be my business. But the fact that it keeps me awake at night makes it so much my business. So I say this again. This piece hits more than the words I'll use. It pierces more than the soul. It is damaging, yes and no, but I'll still write of it. If we only talk about the good then, of what are we to a society that is awakened daily for the hunger for change? I am a Muslim and I refuse to be part of this generation that no one cares for. Talk on deaf ears, applauds on fears, smiles and silence, total silence. Nobody speaks because nobody listens, we look, shake our head and walk away. But I am a Muslim and not a terrorist. As I said, this is personal. So I will speak. I will speak to the deaf till the land to read my lips. Wave at the blind till they master the smell of my armpits and follow the motion of my hands. I refuse to let my mouth stink in silence simply because they said nobody listens. I will save this for whoever this will make sense to. I do not need numbers, no. I only need one. One person this will touch. Just one to save our future. Whenever there is a terrorist attack, what comes to their mind? Ali Moha has his hand in this. No wonder whenever they see me with the bag when I help her, that's why they faced me more than 10 times on the entrance. They can't employ me and I'm stuck in Isili selling shoes Nikki Swali to. A moment of silence to all those who died at Dusit. It really caught me by shock but they decided to blame it all on me. Why is it that when John, Daniel, Karan are had as terrorists, they are never judged by their religion, background, clan, or even tribe? But poor Naima, just because of Mejifunika hijab and she is in a buibui, when they see her, she is a Muslim na ametumwa, that's what your mind is designed to picture. I mean, I even fear that someday I'll be deported kami guna miguna and what I fear most in a come soon cause if it's not a sunny then it must be Fatuma. I am a Muslim and I'm not a terrorist and I feel like I'm sitting in a time machine wondering if I can just forward to see what will happen in a few weeks, a few months, a few years. As public figures, most of what we go through is not public but in fact very private and not only people can understand but only the trusted few know the circumstances in which I am a Muslim go through. Islam means peace. Then they call themselves jihadist. Jihadist means to struggle, to reach up to God. You need to find out who you are. <laughs> the news I heard him say, I'm not saying that every Muslim is a terrorist, but every terrorist is a Muslim. I mean, when people say that this terrorist, especially Al-Shabaab are Muslim, I can also point at a donkey and say that it is a horse. There's no right to call these people Muslims. If I call Al-Shabaab Muslim, it is an insult to the Muslims. If I call them non-Muslim, it is an insult to the non-Muslim. If I call them human, it is an insult to the whole humanity. If I call them animal, 
I'd be insulting the whole animal cause even the animals will only hunt when they need to. They are only slaughtering the innocent creatures. So there is no word which I'd use to describe them because no word is suitable for a description without being insulted. They say that Islam in, is in danger. Then fight for it. Islam is in danger? In what sense? I can't see danger in Islam as I can't see danger for Christianity, Hinduism or even Buddhism or other religion. The only danger that Islam is facing is Al-Shabaab. The ones who use the name of Islam to strive for power and to spread fear. I can see danger for humanity and that's what is making me afraid. But I am a Muslim and I'm not a terrorist because no religion promotes the killing of innocent lives. None say it is a right to stab innocent with knives. Terrorists do not speak for Muslim by their madness, nor should Muslim be punished for the terrorist badness. To all the Muslim and non-Muslims alike, let's stop the chain of hate, discrimination and dislike. We must reject the terrorist false narrative of Islam to fool people into making a storm that cannot abate. Cause I remain a Muslim and I'm a Muslim and I'm not a terrorist. Sharima Empire.